Kiyama Kissing just explodes to the rack. How is it for a player to, you know, be really concentrate to the team practices and friendly games and the preseason after the birth of his child? Uh, I mean, I've been preparing mentally um, for the last nine months. Um, I feel like I've always been good at not really caring, um, bringing my off the life court uh, onto the court. So for me, it's just, you know, it's just another day. I'm pretty sure I'll be tired some days, but I love kids. So, you know, for me, it's an advantage. You know, we don't have to say your whole story, but mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, say that you have a, a hard life mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to get to the point that you are right now. So what message do you want to pass to your kids? Oh, man. I mean, if you look at my life, you may think it was difficult, yeah, but I think when you're living it, it was just only one option. I just always felt like I was going to make it to where I needed to be. Um, when other people look at my life, they say, oh, you know, it was crazy that you made it this far. But for me, it's a lot going on in the world. It's a lot of people's lives that are much more worse. It's a lot of people that would never have the opportunity um, that I've been given. So for me, you know, I just take it one day at a time. I, I just do what I can do for myself, you know. I, but you're right, I wouldn't want my children to live the life that I live, for sure. A new year, not a new team, mm -hmm. uh, 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 an old team with uh, very small changes. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, will your, uh, your uh, role be in this mm -hmm. team this year? I think everybody has a similar role. Um, I think we just want to win. Like, you know, we, we, we've been in a position where we didn't make the playoffs. Um, last season but i think this season we're more together you know we have one goal in mind and that's to get to the playoffs and try to make it to the final four and i think everybody's thinking the same exact way many players that played against you or mm -hmm. with you says that uh, in the athletic part the the dunking part the the jumping part all that stuff uh, your nba material mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that you know, it's not missing from your game, mm -hmm. but it's not as high as the others, mm -hmm. is the three-point shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me about it. Uh, did you have a chance to work uh, on this part during the summer? Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your routine on this part? Um, I mean, of course, I work on it every summer. You know, um, unlike other players, I don't, I don't really look at the stats. Like, if the shot clock's running down, I'm shooting a three, no matter where I'm at. Um, if, if you take away a few games last year, you know, my percentages go up. I had a few games where I was 0 for 6, 0 for 5, you know, 0 for 5, 1 for whatever. So um, for me, you know, I'm, I'm real proud of where my three-point shot is, and I think this season it'll only be better. So we have some uh, documentaries mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that uh, you filmed. Uh, tell us about those. Uh, tell us uh, what should we expect from you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this year. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, for me, uh, I guess off the court, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I'm all over the place, you know. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to go after basketball. And uh, now as good as time as ever. Um, started my podcast. It's doing amazing. Uh, 1.5 million likes on TikTok. So, I mean, I think we're making some type of noise, you know. I'm, I'm excited about the future for sure off the court.